section E, CMA part 2, essay 3. Okay. Rightway Stores is a chain of home improvement stores with 150 locations. Okay. Rightway has identified an attractive site for a new store and Jim Smith, the Director of Financial Planning, has been asked to prepare an analysis and make a recommendation for or against opening this proposed new store, either in favor or against this proposal. Okay. In preparing this analysis, Smith has determined that the land at the proposed site will cost $500,000. This is initial investment. The new store will cost $3.5 million. Again, an outflow, outflow, outflow. The building contractor requires full payment at the start of construction and it will take one year to build the store. Right way will finance the purchase of the land and construction of the new building with a 40 year mortgage. It's a, it's a loan amount through which we will construct this. The mortgage payment will be $118,000 payable annually at the year end. The fixtures for the store are estimated to cost $100,000 and will be expensed. It will not be capitalized, rather it is considered as an outflow, rather it, no depreciation will be charged, it's just an expense. Inventory to stock the store is estimated to cost $100,000, initial investment in working capital. Concerned about the possibility of rising prices, the company expects to purchase the fixtures and inventory at the start of construction. Construction will take one year, but this inventory and fixture will stay with you for one year and then it will be start using at the end of the year one. Advertising for the grand opening will be $50,000 paid to advertising agency on retainer, at, on, on retainer at the start of the construction. So this amount will be paid to the agency at the start of the project. The new store will begin operations one year after the start of construction. Now this is an interesting situation because most of the questions that you have done so far, they required initial investment at the start of year one and money started to come in year one, two and three. But this is not the case here. This is not the case here. Situation is different here. You make investment in year zero Nothing comes in year one. Cash flows start coming from year two end. Or I would say you make investment right now. The project starts working at the start of year one. And then the cash flows start coming at the end of year two, three, four, five. That's something you need. So your first cash flow will come not at the end of year one, it will come at the end of year two. Right, that's an important point you must remember. Right, what next? Right way will depreciate the building over 20 years on a straight line basis and it is subject to 35% tax. Since tax rate is given, there will be tax payment on revenues, there will be depreciation tax shield as well. Right way uses 12% hurdle rate to evaluate the projects. The company expects to earn after-tax operating income from the new store of 1.2 million per year. And remember, this inflow will start coming at the end of year two. Nothing is coming in year one because the project will start working once it's completed. Right, so what the first question is, what is right ways total initial cash outflow and show your calculation. Initial cash outflow. Right here. We need this amount, no fancy tabulation is needed. This is what is the initial inflow, given in red, 500,000, sequentially this is the next inflow, 3.5, not inflow, in fact outflow, this is the initial investment, this is the initial investment at year zero and uh, then what it was, the mortgage payment will be 180 payable annually at the end of the year, at the end of the year, not the initial investment. Fixtures. Initial outflow, fixtures for the stores 100, inventory 100, fixture 100 and at the same time advertisement 50,000. So we have 500,000 outflow, 
3.5 million outflow, 100 outflow. For the fixtures, 100 outflow. Uh, this is for the stock and 50,000 for the advertisement. Right. Now, if you add these all, one important calculation that needs a little debate. He said fixtures for stores are estimated to cost 100 and will be expensed. If it is expensed, will the tax department consider it as expense? Of course not. We will expense it in our books. But since we follow the tax laws, we will not give any tax credit or tax benefit for the for the fixture, even it is being considered an expense by the company. So what we are going to do, we are going to consider this 500,000 as initial investment for the cost of land, 3.5 million for the construction of the building. You can write in this way, then 100,000, the whole of it will be considered as an investment at the start for fixtures, 100,000 for inventory, and this 50,000 as an advertisement expense. Since advertisement expense is a legitimate expense, advertisement expense is a legitimate expense, it will attract tax benefit. This $50,000 is a valid expense. None of these is a valid expense at start, but this $50,000 is a valid expense, it will attract tax benefit at the rate of 30, 35% because tax rate is 35%. So $50,000 multiplied by 35% gives you a positive $17,500. You can write this exactly in the same order same numbers don't write even the number just numbers alone 500 negative 3.5 million negative 100 negative 100 negative 50 plus 17500 it gives you a negative 4 2 3 2 500 that's what you need see no fancy tabulation and you got the exact number so, there you go. You got the full credit. No fancy tabulation. He just needs the right computation. And you've done it. Save your time. Do not go for adornments. Calculate the annual expected cash flow from proposed new store and show your calculation. Now, what we calculated previously, it was the initial cash outflow. Now, we have to calculate the annual cash flows which we will receive every year. Okay. For that, we need to go back to the scenario. It said we will receive 120,000 per year after tax operating income. Don't forget, we have an asset to depreciate. This one, 3.5 million building that will last for how many years? Right way will depreciate the building over 20 years on straight line basis and subject to 35% tax rate. Right way uses 12% hurdle rate to evaluate projects. And this is the after tax operating income for the new store 1.2 million per year. These are the numbers that we will need for solving our question number two. Right. Now there are two approaches to it. There are two approaches to calculate the cash flow every year. It's entirely up to you which option do you want to select. Totally, I gave you the idea in our regular class. You need the annual cash flows. There are two approaches. One is the old approach. Other is the new approach. Whichever you find comfortable with you can. Under the conventional approach, we simply take our net profit or net income after tax, of course. And to this, we add the full amount of depreciation. Straight, full depreciation. Simple, you get the straight answer. Let's see what was given there in the scenario. It said the company expects to earn after-tax income of 1.2 million. The asset is worth 3.5 million which will be depreciated over 20 years. Going back. So, 1.2 million is your net income. The asset is worth 3.5 million to be depreciated over 20 years which means the annual depreciation would be 3.5 million divided by 20 full depreciation full depreciation expense it is not tax shield remember it's depreciation expense add this 175000 you get your annual cash flows 175 plus 1.2 million it's 1375 
adding depreciation expense full to your net income. This is the one way to calculate your cash flows. That's what we do when we prepare our cash flow statement, net income plus add back depreciation. Same thing, depreciation expense. The second approach takes a different view. Second approach takes the after tax cash flows, cash flows. And to this, they add the depreciation tax shield. Remember, this 1.2 million was the net income. Let us calculate the before tax income. 1.2 million is the after tax income. If we divide it with 1 minus tax rate, it will give us the before tax income. 1.2 million divided by 0.65. It is 184. 6154. Rounded off. Okay, so this number 18461540. We need to add back the depreciation. That was 175. It will give you the cash flows 186 18461540 plus 175,000. It's 202. These are the cash flows. These are the cash flows. We must pay tax on these cash income. This is the cash income. This was the accounting income. This is the cash income. Pay tax on the cash income at the rate of 35%. It is 707.404. Deduct tax from the cash income. 202.1154 less 707.404. It gives you 1313.750. This is after tax cash income. Mind the word after tax cash income. Now, to this income, we add depreciation tax shield, not depreciation. What is depreciation tax shield? The depreciation amount multiplied by the tax rate. 175,000 multiplied by 0.35 gives you 61250. 61250 if added to 13. 13750 gives you the exact same number 1375 whichever method you feel convenient this is the cash flow based approach this is net income plus full depreciation but nonetheless both of you will give both of these methods will give you the same annual cash flow 1.375 million so whichever method you want to use you can use so you got the right answer which is not given here now next question so it's 1.375 million every year whichever method you use to calculate the numbers Okay, now, next question. Right-of-way management evaluates a new store over five years horizon as management believes there is too much uncertainty after five years of the operations. We just need to uh, consider it within five years. Calculate the net present value for the store for the five years of operations and show your calculations. Now, we calculated our annual cash flow to be 1375,000. Write it down. This is our annual cash flow, 137500. Remember, you do not receive any cash in year one. The cash flow starts coming after year one. We just discussed at the start of the project. So this is the cash flow we receive in year two, three, four, five, six, after the project is complete. We need to calculate the net present value. We know how to calculate net present value. Net present value is the present value of inflows minus initial investment. What was the initial investment? We calculated in our first question. We need it now. 4.232500. Let me write it down. 4.232500 million. Right? So we need to write our information here. This is the annual cash flow. Our initial investment is 4232500. Two, this is what we receive every year. Year 2, year 3, year 4, year 5, and year 6. Right. Now we can use the discount factor, the combination of discount factor for year 2, 3. Assuming this year 2 is basically year 1, year 2, year 3, year 4. And what we can do? We can multiply this 13750 with an annuity factor 
at the rate of uh, I think the percentage used was 12 percent let me just check was it 12 percent yes 12 percent 12 percent for five years the annuity factor for 12 percent five years is 3.605 this is an important point to make when you multiply this annual cash flow with 3.605 the five years annuity factor 1375 multiplied by 3.605 it gives you 4956875 gentlemen this is a very fine point to understand this cash flow the present value of cash flow has been calculated for your 2345 this value occurs at the end of the first year 4956875 this is the present value of cash flow in your 23456 when you calculate the present value this amount is placed at the end of the first year we have to bring it in year zero we have to discount it again at the rate of 12 percent we must divide it with 1.12 this 1.12 the discount factor for year one will bring this into the present term of year zero this is an important point divided with 1.12 brings it to the current terms 4 4 2 5 7 8 point 7 8 1 point 2 5 this is an important point again i will come 1 3 7 5 thousand is received at the end of year 2 3 4 5 6 when you discount it by multiplying with the annuity factor all these future cash flows received will be discounted to the end of year one 4956875 we are not at a year one we always make decision at the year zero now we will again divide it with the discount factor or you can divide it with 1.1 1.12 or you can multiply this number with the discount factor 12 percent for year one it will bring the cash flows back to year zero which is 4425781.25 from this you can deduct your initial investment which is written right here from part one from question number one it is four two three two five hundred. When you calculate the difference, less four two three two five hundred, it gives you one nine three two eight one point twenty five. It is positive, so present value of inflows is more. Initial investment is less. You can give your working this way, in a paragraphic form. No need to make any tabulation. It's perfectly acceptable. Full credit for this, as long as your working is correct. Same number. 193 281 that's the net present value of the product so the computation part is over what next it says based solely on the solution or uh, based solely on your answer to c would you recommend the right way build the store explain your answer yes it's a positive npv just calculated npv to positive whenever npv is positive it's an indication that the project is uh, viable that's the good thing yes right away right way should build the store the positive npv even ignoring values past five years will add to the value of the company as long as a project has a positive net present value it will increase the shareholders worth or the business value the benefit of the future cash flows is greater than the cost to open the store so that's your question number four simple this much information is sufficient to satisfy the examiner last how would you use sensitivity analysis to test your con confidence in the recommendation no calculation required just the same idea we discussed in the previous essay what is sensitivity will define and then you tell how it can affect help us to determine the viability of the project sensitivity analysis shows how much small changes in different inputs the cost of furniture inventory uh, initial investment building cost annual inflows how much change in these can result this project from being viable to an unfavorable project it's a what if analysis sensitive analysis what if so sensitive analysis shows how much small changes in the inputs affects the decision especially if we had a computer we can change many variables simultaneously and we can see their impact upon the project viability same line same ideas that we discussed in our previous essays so gentlemen that completes your essay type 3